In this video, I will put the 14 Pro Max, the S23 Ultra, and the Pixel 7 Pro under an extreme performance test. This test can literally make the 14 Pro Max lag like a cheap Chinese phone. So let's find out how I did it and which one of these flagships will finish the test without any issues. First things first, let's put the rules to make sure that the comparison is as fair as possible. I will be using cellular data on all three as it's more power hungry when compared to Wi-Fi and they are all set to LTE as the 7 Pro doesn't support 5G where I live just yet. The S23 Ultra and the 7 Pro are set to the maximum display resolution and the 14 Pro Max doesn't have an option to modify this. The 120Hz refresh rate is also active on all of them to make sure that the test is as tough as possible. All are running the latest stable software version available at the time of filming this video and as per Google, the 7 Pro got some performance improvements with March update. So I hope to see it strongly competing with the other two flagships this time. And finally, the screen brightness is calibrated. The 14 Pro Max and the S23 Ultra don't show their actual brightness percentages, but the 7 Pro was at 88%. To give you an idea about how bright are the displays. Now it's time for the test and here's what I will do. I will start a Microsoft Teams meeting and share the invite with another phone to make sure that the meeting is running throughout the test, then I will start the screen sharing. Next I will play a 2160p video on YouTube and keep it running in the picture in picture view. After that I will open the maps and start the navigation to Dubai Mall. And finally play Asphalt 9. The duration for this test will be 30 minutes, so let's see what will happen. Now I want you to look closely at the 14 Pro Max screen. Exactly after 4 minutes and 28 seconds, the screen became dimmer on its own, while the other two phones didn't do this. It seems like the iPhone started to feel the pain a bit too early. But shortly after, the 7 Pro did exactly what the iPhone did, and at the 5 minutes and 24 seconds mark, it started to slowly dim the display, while the S23 Ultra is the only phone keeping the same conditions till now. Finally, after 11 minutes and 5 seconds, the S23 Ultra started to dim the display as well. It was barely noticeable in the game as it was happening really slow, but I took a screenshot from the game menu before this time to show you the difference in brightness between the two. So far, the S23 Ultra is the king as it kept things intact for a much longer time, so let's keep going. After 14 minutes and 24 seconds, the 7 Pro stopped the data connection to decrease the heat, which is something it usually does. I expected the game to crash at this point, but after 20 more seconds, it restored the internet connection, the Teams meeting reconnected again, and the game was running smoothly. On the other hand, the 14 Pro Max started to be laggy, and you can clearly see the difference in smoothness when compared to the S23 Ultra or even the 7 Pro. And from here, things started to get worse with the iPhone. At the 16 minutes and 18 seconds mark, the lag increased to a point that the game keeps freezing completely for few moments every now and then. But we still have 13 to 14 minutes remaining, and I'm curious to see how it will hold up. But it didn't take long for the 14 Pro Max to start struggling. At 19 minutes and 7 seconds, the game was completely unplayable. The 7 Pro was much smoother at this stage, but it took the chance to cool down earlier by dropping the data connection for 20 seconds, which the iPhone didn't. On the other hand, the S23 Ultra is the king, as it didn't drop the data connection or showed any signs of lag so far, and now I'm even more curious to see what will happen after 30 minutes. At the 21 minutes and 54 seconds mark, the 7 Pro gave a thermal warning for the first time with a tremendous amount of lag, and the data connection stopped again. The 14 Pro Max is almost dying and the frame rate is about 0.005 frames per second, while the S23 Ultra is unbeatable and the game is still running as smooth as expected. Back to the 7 Pro and the data connection stayed off for a while and I wasn't able to proceed with the game. But it finally came back after 1 minute and 50 seconds, so let's continue. And we finally made it to the last minute. The 14 Pro Max was the same since the 19 minutes mark with a completely unplayable game. The 7 Pro was running smoothly after giving itself the chance to cool down by dropping the data connection twice throughout the test. And the S23 Ultra is the only one that finished the 30 minutes without any issues. Now it's time to measure the temperature and to check the battery percentages. The S23 Ultra was the lowest at 47.4 degrees, 
followed by the 14 Pro Max and the 7 Pro at 49.5. When it comes to the battery, all started at 100, the S23 Ultra consumed 10%, the 14 Pro Max 7%, and the 7 Pro 12%. So let's take a closer look at the numbers we have. The S23 Ultra dimmed the display after 11 minutes and 5 seconds versus 4 minutes and 28 seconds for the 14 Pro Max and 5 minutes and 24 seconds for the 7 Pro. The S23 Ultra was the only phone to finish the whole test without any issues while the game was completely unplayable on the 14 Pro Max after 19 minutes and the 7 Pro dropped the data connection twice and the first time was after 14 minutes and 24 seconds. Third, the Galaxy had the lowest temperature at 47.4 degrees versus 49.5 for the other two. And when it comes to the battery consumption, the 7 Pro came first with 7%, followed by the S23 Ultra with 10%, and the 7 Pro came last with 12%. So the S23 Ultra was far ahead the competition, followed by the 14 Pro Max, and the 7 Pro comes third. So that's pretty much it for today. That was my performance test for the S23 Ultra versus the 14 Pro Max and the 7 Pro. Please let me know in the comments what do you think. But for now, thank you so much for watching and see you the next video.